Hey y'all, today's gonna be a What's Soul video, top 10 most expensive golf clubs in the last 90 days, so stay tuned. All right guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thread Machine, here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today's going to be about 10 golf clubs or golf club set that I've sold in the last 90 days, and the most expensive ones. I get a lot of questions about, you know, what brand names do I pick up, and this and that. So I'm gonna show you the, the ones that are selling the most for me, and the most expensive, and then I did, they're all different brand names, so you can write these brand names down, get them in your brain, so when you go out there to the thrift store, or the yard sales you can remember the brand name and maybe some other things about them and at least have a good starting point on where to start buying so let's go ahead and get started i do want to say thank you to all my new subscribers i had a whole bunch of new subscribers come in and if you are new to the channel and you're not subscribed please go back watch some of my other videos if you like the content go ahead and subscribe to the channel like the video that you're watching also give me a little comment because it does help the channel out and i much appreciate it so let's go ahead and get started i think there's um i threw in a couple of, like wild cards too about some other good stuff to look out for for golfing so let's go ahead and get started with the first one this first one is going to be the company ping this is going to be a ping i2 black dot set so it's an iron set right there two through wedge which is pretty good if you had a one through wedge it would even be worth more money and these were the ZZ Light steel shafts. And it's going to be a left-handed club, which is uh, kind of important because there wasn't a lot of sets online that were left-handed from two through wedge. You're going to have to look at that. And these went for $199 and the buyer did pay shipping. So these are about... 15 to 25 dollars to ship depending on where they're going i can fit them in one of those tubes uh the usps tubes and if you don't know how to do that i will link down below exactly how you can do that on a whole iron set and they sold very quickly within about a week but ping i2 black dots ping i2 red dot blue dot whatever they are really good and fast sellers you can usually get over 150 dollars for them if they're in the set so the ping i2 is really good uh iron to look out for the next one is going to be Callaway Razor X Tours. This is a only a three through nine. So again, right there, you're already down. The other one was a two through wedge. This one's a three through nine. So there's only be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's right. And uh, these even need a grip. So somebody's gonna have to pay like $10 or more per club to grip that. And they still went for $150 plus shipping. Callaway, again, a really good brand to look out for. Even their older clubs still sell pretty good, even their irons. And so what you want to do is, if, if you see a club that has Callaway on it, some of their irons and iron sets go for way more than this, hundreds and hundreds, five, six hundred dollars $600. So you definitely want to comp out anything that says Callaway because that is a really good brand to look out for. The next one right here is a TaylorMade RBZ. This is a Rocket Ball Z3 wood graphite shaft. This went for $88. If you find a club that has the original head cover, that does boost the price if the head cover is in good condition. Because usually the head covers go, as I always say, for about $10 to $15. So it does boost the price a lot. So when you're buying clubs and you see some with the original head cover, especially a good brand like TaylorMade, this is the most brand that I find and pick up just because I think I find it a lot around here, to be honest with you. And uh, this one for $88 plus shipping, only took a week to sell. This was a right-handed club with a regular flex. Super good brand to look out for is TaylorMade. Now this one right here is kind of a wild card I wanted to just throw in there. If you're at the thrift or uh, yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, wherever you're sourcing at, and you see some, uh, some sort of golf trainer, there's ones that have like hinges on them that almost looks like the shaft is broken and this one right here i'll throw up two pictures because it's really hard to see on this picture what this is this one had a weird scoop and it was called the golf swing trainer tempo strength balance and it was the pro x 200 2000 there was nothing on ebay like this or anything i put it up for like a hundred dollars and ended up selling for 70 bucks plus shipping and it i only got it for two dollars at the uh goodwill or salvation army because they didn't know what it was and to be honest with you i didn't know what it was i just knew it was a golf trainer and golf training stuff goes for a good about amount of money. So if you see one, you might want to comp that out because some of the trainers go for way more than 70 bucks. So it's always a good, at least starting point is to comp out as if you see a golf trainer. These right here, another good brand is going to be King Cobra. King Cobra makes, these are junior clubs, but they obviously make female clubs and men's clubs. Good brand to look out for. And this is just a group of junior girls clubs. Four of them, seven nine irons uh, with the putter and a sand wedge. And they went for $65 as junior clubs. So you know that's got to be a little higher end brand right there. Again, plus shipping. It only took a couple weeks to sell. 
King Cobra, super good brand to look out for. I've sold some of their irons uh, a little bit more than this, just their single irons. So if you see King Cobra out there, definitely comp it out. Again, a really good starting point. Now, this was funny. I actually put this, I think, on my Instagram. Nike, really good brand to uh, look out for. I very rarely see these in the thrift stores. Even I rarely see them out in the yard sales because they don't make them anymore. So right here, this is going to be a Nike Forge Blade 7 iron. This one club went for $51. It says read because I know it needed a grip on it. And this one seven iron, and it sold very quickly. So if you're out there, because they don't make Nike irons anymore, and people are always looking for them. If somebody broke their seven iron, they would have probably paid 75 bucks to keep their set on this. So right there, uh, Nike, really good brand to look out for. Anything Nike, I usually don't hesitate to pick up between three and five dollars. And if it's a super nice club, it might I might even spend more than that. So uh, that's a really good club to look out for. Titleist, another really good brand to look out for. This is a 909D2. Now they have a a million different clubs, Titleist, and you want to go ahead and comp it out. But Titleist is a good brand, a good starting point. So if you see that brand name, you might want to go ahead and comp it out to see exactly what it is. This one club went for forty dollars, paid three dollars for it. That's usually my going rate when I buy these because these are kind of low end clubs. They're older clubs, you know, but they still go for forty bucks, fifty bucks, and stuff like that. But they're not the hundred thousand dollar clubs, hundred thousand, the hundred or thousand dollar clubs. That they have today if there's a hundred thousand dollar club out there you tell me about it i'll be looking for it but uh you know if i'm buying these lower end clubs i'm usually only spending between three and five dollars a club at max ten dollars so right there that one went for 40 bucks that one sold super fast another good brand is going to be cleveland this is a wedge so this one wedge went for 38 dollars plus shipping this is a cleveland rtx 588 2.0 now all that stuff is on the head of the club so when you see the cleveland and this is usually what i do if i see cleveland and it's a wedge i usually pick it up for three bucks i know it's going to at least go for 18 uh but this one went for 38 because I, I really didn't know that when i bought it but i got home typed in all that stuff cleaned it up a little bit and cleveland wedges usually do sell really good for me and they sell very fast again tailor made i find a ton of tailor made now i put this one up there because the new the one i just showed was kind of a newer club it's still like older but it's like newer this one is kind of like really old like probably you know 15 years old or something like that this is a tailor made fire soul five wood with the s90 bubble shaft and it did go for 35 dollars plus shipping again i picked these up for three dollars and i find these all the time at the uh, goodwill a lot of people pass these up because they are older clubs, but with that bubble shaft on them, especially if it's the S90, they sell very good and very fast. And uh, so you definitely want to be on the lookout for those. And in better condition, these right here, you can identify pretty fast because the bubble shaft says bubble on it. And then the head of the club is kind of like that brown look or amber looking color. So they're really easily, I can spot these from like a mile away because when I get in there, I was like, oh, that's going to be a nice tailor made. And I still pick them up for three bucks. And this one right here, I think is a very overlooked brand. And I always say that. And I know that a couple people on Instagram and YouTube have actually found these and have really good flips on them. But these are always uh, still in the goodwill when I get there because nobody really picks them up. And they do have really good value for how much you can buy them for. This is the US Kids Golf. Now, I just picked one out. I usually sell them between uh, 20 to 40 bucks. And usually the $40 ones is going to be like a new driver or something like that. This one I want to pick out because I usually find something like this. And this is going to be a US Kids Golf UL24 single 9-iron kid power. And it looks like the ones with the graphite shafts are going to go for a little bit more than the steel shafts when it comes to the US Kids. This was a right-handed club. Again, $25 bucks plus shipping. Picked up for $3 at the Goodwill. So right there, that's 10 items that sold for me. That is actually my most expensive ones. I sell a ton of golf clubs. If you do follow me on Instagram, I usually sell between two and eight a day. Some do range from you know $10, $15, all the way up to $88 or over $100 for the uh, iron sets. So every golf club I sell isn't a ton of money, you know, 15, 20 bucks. But when you're selling, you know, eight a day at $20 or $30 or $40, it really adds up quick. So when you're in the thrift store, if you see any of those name brands, comp them out because some of those name brands aren't going to be worth a whole bunch. But usually when I see Callaway, Titleist, Cleveland, all those name brands that I just talked about, I usually at least put them in my cart or buggy. And then I, I go around the store and I comp them out just to make sure because I'm telling you, somebody's going to come in behind you and scoop them up for three bucks because they are going to be worth some money. So again, I do these videos so you can go out there and find some of these items, flip them for yourself and make some money. I do really appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always catch you in the next one.